Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're heading up to Vermilion Bay, Ontario for some awesome walleye fishing. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, we're at Annie Myers Lodge on beautiful Eagle Lake in Vermilion Bay, Ontario. One of my favorite trips each year. I actually come at least once or twice. And this lake is known for its giant muskies, perhaps the finest musky lake in the entire world, if you really think about it, for your potential for both size and numbers. But we've got Got Julian Kalka with us today, and Julian, you own Andy Myers Lodge. There's a lot more than muskies in Eagle Lake. This is a world-class walleye lake. Eagle Lake, you get abundance of numbers, quality size, but you really have a shot at that trophy size, 10 pounds plus. And what I love, folks, about Andy Myers Lodge is uh, I call this luxury in the wilderness. I mean, let's talk about our food a little bit. One night you do a fish fry for everybody, right? Yep, fish fries Wednesday night for the entire camp, whether you're on the American plan or you're on the housekeeping. And of course, we have steak night. All your food is really good. But I love, uh, I love your guides and I, I love your help here. They're all really professional and they teach you how to fish. Right. The guides here aren't just guides, uh, what I call glorified boat drivers. They're actually educators. They're professional fishermen that want to teach new and young old anglers uh, how to fish, the proper way to fishing, and new techniques. I want to tell you this too, I love coming up here in September and October and uh, they're fabulous fishing months. Do you have any openings for those months? It's filling up. October is really busy, September is probably the busiest it's ever been. Uh, but there is some little bit of holes here and there that you might be able to get a trip in if you book early or give me a call. Yeah, and also we're going out with Danny Herbeck today. We're supposed to have some rain, but we'll catch some walleyes? I know we'll catch some walleyes. Hey folks, the show we're using and now we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Congratulations to Scott and Pam from Franklin, Wisconsin, the winner of the Yamaha Grizzly 90, one of the best youth ATVs in the industry. Congratulations. Thank Are you guys you. excited? Yeah. 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 Yay. <laughs> and I'm here with Paul from Yamaha. What are the benefits of the Yamaha Grizzly 90 for youth? Well, as you can see, it closely resembles the, its bigger brother, the Grizzly 700, and it has ease of operation, electric start, automatic transmission, and a speed control system so that you can teach your first time riders how to safely ride their ATV. Well, thank you again from Yamaha and congratulations. Are you guys excited? Yeah! yeah. Standing here by a boat with Len Groom from Amsoil, and Len, this HP Marine two-stroke oil, one thing I noticed when I switched, smoke smell went away right away. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Two-stroke oils are not all created equal, and when you talk about HP Marine, it is built specifically for use in the water. The temperatures are cooler, the engine doesn't get as hot. You have to formulate for that to make sure that you're not going to get deposits, right? And deposits create all kinds of problems from horsepower loss to smoke and those kinds of things. So you have to make sure that you have all that under control. It's been built specifically, like I said, for the water. Check out the marine products at amsoil.com. Your garage floor doesn't have to look like this. You can make it a beautiful extension of your home with Premier Floor Coating Solutions. They have decades of experience in both commercial and residential. So you'll get industrial strength and long lasting beauty for your home. Relentless quality from the ground up. Learn more at premierfloorcoating.com. Hey, welcome back, folks. Yes, my favorite day of the year that I look forward to, I guess, all the time is fishing with Danny Herbeck on Eagle Lake. And uh, one of the things that I love is in the morning we can decide what to fish for, right? I mean, there's tons of different things to do. Yeah, we can fish for walleyes, muskies, trout, whatever we, you know, whatever strikes our interest for the day. And you feel like walleyes today. We'll go out and see if we can get some walleyes. Now, we got a new guide with us today, a co-guide. Who's this guy? That is Julian's son, Calix. Calix, welcome aboard, buddy. Thank you. Now, you, you've been guiding up here for how long? Uh, this is my first full year. And you are how old? 16. And you're quite the hockey player? You betcha. Can you fish? 
<laughs> can I he like fish? fish we'll find out well, today. Yeah, we're going to find out today. No, you can fish. We're going to have fun today, right, buddy? Absolutely. Hey, here we go. Danny's got one on to start our day. Good fish, Danny? Yeah, feels decent. You going to need the clam here, buddy? Uh... Oh, look at the size of that walleye to start our day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's the best netter in the world? There you go. <laughs> Look at that fish to start our day, Danny Herbeck. And, and we got to tell the folks that this is not uncommon here on Eagle, is it? No, not fish of this caliber. And our walleye population on here is as good as it's ever been, right? It's Yeah, it's the best. It's the good old days of walleye fishing are, are now. And it, how, you know, on an average day, how many can you guys catch, uh, uh, you know, on a good day? 100, 150. That's amazing. Hey, look at that. My buddy Julian's got one on here. This feel pretty good, buddy? This feels all right. Oh, look at him. There we go. There we go. That's that's what's so interesting to me is the size of the fish, the walleyes on average here. And look at how clear that water is. That's a beautiful fish. There you go, buddy. And I think the neat thing about coming up here to Eagle Lake is your walleye fishing is good year-round, period, right? Yeah, from early May, the shallow spring fishing, uh, to midsummer where they're starting to go a little deeper off these main lake humps. You, average size are like these and you can catch a lot of numbers during the day. We just moved to a new spot. Now, Danny, do you like fishing rocks this time of year, buddy? Shallow rocks. Shallow yeah. rocks? Okay. Boy, I'll tell you what, folks, look at how gorgeous these walleyes are. I mean, I'm just amazed. And Danny, you know, when, when folks come up and stay at Andy Myers, you actually recommend that they hire a guide at least the first day, right? Just to kind of figure out the program? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, you know, fair sized lake and at least get you on the, on the right pattern and what the fish are doing. So you're not spending a couple days guessing of and you, you guys are all on. professionals. I mean, most of you guys have been here many years. Oh, yeah. Yep, for sure. Hey, look at that. Danny's got another one on, folks. And we're, this is cool. Look at the size of this walleye. That's another beauty there, buddy. Look at that walleye. But, Danny, it is interesting today. You know, you know me, uh, how much I love to use plastics. But if you're not using live bait today, you aren't getting bit, right? Well, what's happening, John, is the mayflies are hatching right now. And... The fish are really, really full. Like, and you can see like what we're seeing on the graphs and stuff like that. The amount of fish that are being pretty negative. You know what I mean? Right. So, my turn, Danny. Folks, this is just so much fun. Look at that rod bending, man. This feels like a pretty good fish, Danny. I actually switched to the leech, folks. Ooh, look at that walleye! Holy cow, Danny Herbeck. That is awesome, buddy. What is that, about 27, 28? He's probably 27. Look at that fish. That is incredible. And you know what I did? I went to a, a really light Pendu jig, an 8 ounce jig, because we're only fishing in 12, 15 feet. Those lighter jigs sometimes are better, right? Especially, than especially with a leech and that slow fall. Yeah. Isn't that a gorgeous fish, buddy? That is a nice walleye. Yeah. What do you think that is, 27? Yeah, probably. Uh, that's incredible. The average size fish that we've caught today is just amazing. Yep. And you know, folks that are coming up in August and September, they're going to experience this type of walleye fishing too? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, the leech is the deal today. And I really like those Pendu jigs that Acme Tackle makes. But when you're using, you want a real lively leech, right? A lively leech is important, especially on a jig. So when it's resting on the bottom, the leech is just... And like I said, the whole deal behind this leech bite is the mayflies are hatching. And typically when that, you know, the peak of the mayfly hatches, leeches will outproduce minnows. And you just took it once right through? Just Does it once, matter, uh, head or tail? Once right behind the sucker. Okay. And, uh, yeah, when they hit, you let them go for just a second? Just a split second, yep. I just lost one. Danny's got another one on. I mean, this is incredibly... Look at that fish. You, I'll just you, grab them. You just grab them? Yeah, I mean, that's amazing, Danny. And uh, these fish, when you find them this time of year, they're pretty tightly schooled up? Yeah, on, on these shallow reefs, they'll be bunched up for sure. And a lot of times, they'll school by size. I mean, hold that one up. Now, that's just the average that we've caught today. Below average, that's right? That's below average for sure. <laughs> hey, that one actually hit like a clunk. That one felt good. The other ones were just picking it up. I mean, look at the battle here, folks. And and, and people say walleyes don't fight. Forget that. Okay, Danny. Oh, nice Ooh, one. there we go. There's a, oh my gosh, look at that walleye right there, Danny. Hey, am I having a great day, buddy? I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. That was a really neat 
like a quunk type hit, and you know that really when they mean business, that's the kind of hit you get, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, look at that. And we're going to show the folks too how we're working these jigs, and you got to work them pretty slow, right? Especially, I mean, you're using a light jig, right? So you're you're more or less just swimming it very slowly along the bottom versus you know snap jigging like you do a lot with plastics. Yeah, and boy, stuff. and and you know, folks, I I tried plastics all morning. I couldn't get bit. Isn't that weird? It's just the way with the yeah. flies, right? Yeah, now. but that's why he's got minnows and leeches and all that. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $10 in the Proficiency 2-pack spin cast reels on sale for $39.99. Hey, hey, we got a little rain shower moving through here, Danny. And we're still catching walleyes. You going to need the net for this guy? Ooh, Whoa. look at that. That's a beautiful fish. I just can't believe it, folks. Every fish is over 20-some inches long. <laughs> okay. You need the net? Uh, I can grab them. Okay. Oh, fabulous. And, uh, you know, it, it is interesting. You get this cloud. Oh, nice. You get this cloud cover in this rain. That doesn't hurt the fishing, does it? No. Sometimes, a lot of times, like, leading into it, you know, it'll really fire them up. Okay, Julian, he's got a big one on up there in the front of the boat, Danny. Okay, Dan, zip your, zip your thing down so we can hear you. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. That is a big army tank right there. Wow, look at the size of that walleye. That is a giant Julian Kolka. Stand next to him so we can hear him, Danny. Are you, John? Oh, that is just a slavosaurus, buddy. And it, you know what? I remember I said I stayed with the minnow. You guys were all catching on minnows leeches. It didn't hit hard. You can just feel it, pick it up, and slowly take it away. But what a beautiful fish. Now, yeah. are, for folks that come up here, is that size uncommon to catch a big butt no. fish like that? No, like Danny said, not this time of year. In the more August, September, you can really target this size. Wow, look at that, Julian. That is a special fish. How big, Danny? It's pushing 30. Oh, look at this battle. Loosen look at drag. that fish staying down. Loosen, oh, my gosh. Loosen your drag a little, Jono. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish, buddy. This is a good fish. This might be a big one, Johnny. Oh, this could be my big walleye of the year here. Ooh. Oh, look at that walleye! Oh my gosh, that is just an absolute giant, folks. Hey. Hey. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, you so much for putting us on these fish. Wow. That is, what is that one, Danny? He's big. It's 30 inch all day. Oh, is that awesome? That, is, look at the head on that thing. You know, I knew right away when I set the hook, yeah. too, you know, when they stay down I like that. I saw some big ones cruising around down there. So. That is something else. And, you know, we should point out the importance of electronics. You know, when you go around to these different spots, you don't even bother fishing unless you mark fish, right? 100%. Yeah, and you really uh, trust your electronics. And once you get them dialed in, like, and once you learn how to read them, I won't even fish unless I see they're the right size I want to catch, like these ones. Yeah, you know, I learned a lesson today, folks. You know me, how much I love plastic and that's pretty much all I use. What I learned today is listen to the guide, right? Well, normally I mean, I'm a big advocate of plastics too, right? Yeah. But the just if it's not going, you got to adapt. That's right? my big walleye of the year there, man. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. We were fishing Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Lodge, an 11 and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 12 and a half hours from Chicago, and seven hours from Minneapolis. Folks, if you fish, you know how expensive live bait is, especially minnows, and that's twice the case up here in Canada. So it's important for you to keep your bait alive and healthy. So what do you got? The Johnson Pump Cartridge Series for their aeration. It's super dependable, super reliable, and it, as you can see, it's pumping tons of oxygen in the live well. And another thing that you didn't touch on is, you know, as a tournament angler, we need a live well system that we can count on to get our fish to weigh in. Go to johnsonpumpmarine.com for more information. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough, safe on fish, easy to use, and a telescoping handle. Learn more 
about Mortis Nets at ClamOutdoors.com. The best fishermen make the most out of every moment on the water with the proven power of Ultrex. A spot log that doesn't quit, effortless control, and a reputation for ruthless Minkota power. Ultrex lets anglers cast more and catch more while the other guys are still catching up. Because the best fishermen just fish. <laughs> I got one on. Dan, look, at, look at Danny's. Look at mine. Look at that. <laughs> look at the two of those walleyes together. Oh, there we go. I got mine. I'll grab mine. Look here. at this fish, folks. Uh, of course, that's not as big as the one we had during the rain, but hold these up together. And Danny, for folks that don't know, Eagle Lake is a giant lake, isn't it? It's a pretty big body of water. It's yep. like 35 miles long, something like that? 85. 85 miles long and full of these big old walleyes. <laughs> Man, is that cool or what? And we kind of switched. We're in a weed area you now. Yeah, we're fishing some cabbage. Wow, that look at that. What a what a half a day we've had, huh? It's been pretty good. Did you enjoy the rain? I'm glad it's gone. I am too. Hey, you know, it's unbelievable, Danny, the numbers of the size of the fish that we're catching. And look at them down here. I mean, that's you want the net? I'll grab them. Okay. But, you know, you've got, uh, I think what's neat about Eagle Lake, too, and you've been walleye fishing here all your life, but the you have spots for big fish and little numbers, too, right? Yeah, it just depends what you know what we want to do for the day like most days we'll start out holy smokes <laughs> most days we'll start out catch a bunch of fish and then you know kind of shift gear in the afternoon and you know target some bigger bigger size but that's kind of nice if you're a beginning walleye guy you know you take them to a spot teach them how to do the jigging and that and what you're doing and then go to the big fish spots yep that sure. makes a lot of sense it's amazing how many fish we're not filming today we're just we get a big one. Look at this one. We get a big one on and that's the one he films. Can you grab him, Danny? I'll get him. Look at that walleye. Hey, what a day this has been, folks. And I want to tell you that we've only really been fishing about uh, six hours and two of the hours were in heavy rain. And, yeah. and that'll give you an example of what Eagle Lake walleye fishing is all about, right? There's a lot. It's a very healthy fishery right now. There's a lot of, you know, really big fish. There's a lot of fish. It's 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 an all-around great lake right now. Well, it's so well known for muskies that I think sometimes people overlook the other species that are available here. I'd say class A tremendous walleye lake, great lake trout lake. There's northern pike. There's everything. Smallmouth. It's, it's the. I mean, it's one. It's one of the premier destinations in northwestern Ontario for sure. Look at the bobber going down. That's cool. You're just setting that right by the side of the boat, too. There he, <laughs> there he is, too. Now, that is cool. Can you net him there, Calix? That's another gorgeous walleye. But oh, you know, he just came off. Perfect. You and I were talking about that last night, how you were going to try a slip bobber. And what a great way to fish the weeds with, a, you know, especially with clients. Wouldn't that be fun for them? Well, and like I said, these fish, like, we're, we're catching a lot of really nice fish. Yeah. But a lot of them are being really negative and you know a slip bobber with a leech and just let it sit right yeah. in your face yeah and that's a f i enjoy slip bobbering you know and you got a breeze like this today that helps give it you a just little let's action walk it right back yeah yep. that was fun watching the bobber go <laughs> it down was. I, it's something about watching a bobber go down it's fun. no matter how old you are right yeah Hey folks, here's some big news. You can spend an ice fishing weekend with me on the show. The entire trip will be televised. Join the team at Johnsonville as a new employee and you could win a winter 2023 weekend ice fishing trip with us. Become a Johnsonville member between now and July 31st for your chance to win this one of a kind experience. Come work at Johnsonville and you may go fishing with us. Johnsonville. They're so sincerely interested in you becoming the best person you can possibly be. I started Johnsonville as a temp. When you first start a company, you still don't know much about the company. So when you actually like learn what the, the, the job about and how much it means to the company, how much they care for their employees, it's kind of make you want to like, wow, this company you want to be at. So today my uncle's gonna jump in with us from Dallas. Uh, 
Brent yeah. Herbeck? Yep, that's him. The famous Brent Herbeck? That's him. And then a little later on, we're going to go and get your son, Dax. Yeah, Dax is at daycare today, and when he gets done... We'll How old is him. Dax? He's five now. Good walleye fisherman, too, well, right? Well, we'll see. Yeah. Look at that. We got Brent Herbeck in the back. Danny, go stand next to him because he does not have a microphone on. Hey, Brent, look at us and smile, please. That's that Dallas, Texas smile right there. Here he comes. Nice oh, one. yeah, that's a beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that one. And I want to mention, folks, Brent Herbeck is actually the brother of Steve Herbeck, who used to uh, own Andy Myers Lodge here, and that's Danny Herbeck's uncle. And uh, where are you from, buddy? Dallas. Dallas, Texas. All the way up here from Dallas. Look at the size of that walleye right. there. And what do you do there? I uh, run a bunch of Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's sandwich places? Yep. Did you bring some for us? I didn't. I'm sorry. Well, no, that's the only reason you're in the boat. We, we wanted free Jimmy John's. Oh, maybe next time. Hey, you've been kind of up for here for years. Isn't this a great trip? Oh, it's awesome. It's a breath of fresh air. Hey, folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 Fishing Contest. Aaron Stello of Wausau caught this 30-inch walleye on the Fox River on a crankbait. Mark Pels of Powers Lake boated this 53-inch mud on Eagle Lake on a Bulldog. Susan Hawley of Eagle caught this 12-inch bluegill on Bass Lake on a Nightcrawler. Dan Doss of Muskego, Wisconsin caught this 22-inch bass in southwestern Wisconsin on a rubber worm. And this week's kids winners are Fisher Pavey of Crown Point, Indiana caught this 17-inch crappie on Lake Holiday on a wax worm. And Brady Harris of Morris, Illinois caught this 40-inch musk on Lake Vermilion on a MEPS. Well, my last night in camp, and I got a special guide tonight. It's uh, it's Dax Herbeck. Uh, what do you want to fish for tonight, buddy? Walleye. What do I use for bait, though? Minnows. And a hook or a jig? Jig. Okay, and how do I work it? You, you just jig till, till, you get, till you feel you have a bite. Okay, and what if I get a bite? What do I do? You, you set the hook. What do you got? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> look at him go, man. Oh, look at there's your bobber. There's your bobber, Dax. What do you got, Dax? Uh, okay, Dax. Come on, Dax. What, what are you? Why are we? Oh my gosh! Why are you taking so long, dude? It's a big fish. How do you know? Guys, my bobber went down. Oh my golly! What should we do now? I don't know. Well, you got to get him in. Are you going to get him in? <laughs> Probably. Huh. I can't even see, see what I got. Oh my gosh, look at that walleye. I caught the biggest one. Oh my god, what, what happened there, man? I, I, I caught a giant walleye. Yeah, well, uh, why did, what are you using? Just the leaves. All right, well, what happened? Tell me how that happened. Uh, when my barber went down deep, I just saw saw it go going down and then I just and, the and then I just shut the hook then I realized it was gonna be a giant wall. It is a giant wall. Now what are we gonna do with this? <laughs> Throw it back definitely. Why are we throwing it back? Because it's way too big. Alright, well go you can go throw them back there. Okay. There we go. But so yeah, there you go, Dax. You're doing good. Oh, nice. You chucked him right in the lake. No, but tell me what what ones can you keep for eating? Uh, only, I'm, I'm sure it's just the medium size. Ooh. Oh, hey, right after Dax. Give, give Dax, Dax, can Dax net that? Dax, do you know how to net? You know how to net him, Dax? All right. Now, Blake's got a nice one on, too. Dax, nice yeah, net job. Proud, Show Dax. it to the camera, Dax. Can you get him in, buddy? All right. Good hey, job, buddy. Dax, are these the, do you catch big walleyes like this all the time? Uh, so, sometimes I catch big walleyes. Who taught you how to net fish? Um, uh, when, when I first saw my dad, uh, I thought, like, I, I could do the same as my dad. And you did. You did a great job. Thank you for netting this walleye. Dax again? What do you got on? Oh, look at this guy. Look at that. Wow, oh, wow. look at him flip down there. It's probably a keeper. Is that supper? Dad, is yeah, that? Yeah, that's keeper. That is supper? So how do you fix your fish at your house? How do you cook them? Uh, my dad just 
Flay flays them like normally. Yeah, and then what? Do you just eat them raw? No. What do you do? We, we fry them. This kid just sits here and catches fish after fish. Is this a big one? Uh, well? It should be a tiny one or a big one. Well, it looks like you're having a little hard time there with if it's a little one. Okay, come here. <laughs> right? <laughs> what, what's the deal with the crotch hole down here? It, it gives you more strength. Oh, I didn't know that. Dax, that is a Slavosaurus, dude. Look at the size of that walleye. Is that a 30 incher, Danny? That's, 28? That's pretty big. Look at that. Dax, is that a keeper? No. Why can't I keep that? It's too big. You catch big walleyes like this all the time, dude? I've caught a bunch. How big do you think that thing is? Uh, about 30 or 4 or 20 inches. Yeah, well, 34 or 20 inches. I think that's about a 29, 30 incher right there. We're going to keep him and eat him? No, he's way too big. All right, well, I guess we just got to let him go. Okay, let him go, bud. Okay, here's the release. That is something else, buddy. You know, I've been fishing all my life and I haven't caught two big walleyes like that in one night. I've caught a bunch of those walleyes in one night. Well, I can see that, buddy. Dax, because you guided me to some big fish tonight, I got a gift for you. What do you think? I, I think it was good than all my other grubs. Though. Yeah, those are good grubs. Are you going to give some to your sister, Berkeley? She, she steals all my grubs. She steals all your grubs? Hey, give me a big clapper here for the great night. You caught some big fish, didn't you, man? You want to go have dinner? What are we having? Mm, I bet we can't have any fish because we released all our fish. I know, that sucks. The skies for more information on fishing Andy Myers Lodge, call 888-727-5865. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle, it's a play off the Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes. Incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth, making two different types of unique noises. And then the third feature, which is the most unique, is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions. And again, you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Blake Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>